Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VFG Movie Reviews with your host, Tim Williams. How's it going, guys? Welcome to VFG Movie Reviews. I am Tim, and this is my review for Men. Oh my goodness. Uh, I do want to state at the beginning of this video, this is a review in progress. Uh, I went and saw this video, this this video, this movie. Uh, I still don't know how to process uh, this movie currently. Um, I need to look into some things that were touched upon in the movie to get a better sense of what I saw. But I am going to tell you what I saw, but I am not going to give this a star rating. I will do a... Uh, I don't know what they call it, but I will do another video uh, where I give my full review. Now, uh, let me give you the movie. Give me give you the movie, and then we will go from there. So we follow Harper as we find out that she uh, is divorcing her husband. Uh, he got violent. Ended up dying as you find out later on in the movie i don't want to i don't want to go into the whole thing because it plays into the manipulation that this girl goes through and what she's going through in this movie but uh he does end up dying she goes to a vacation home uh to get away to recoup uh and just have some time uh we meet jeffrey uh played by uh roy keener i uh, i'm gonna mess these names up really bad guys uh and harper was played by uh jesse buckley uh so this movie's a mind trip because uh roy keener plays all the characters Except for the husband, Jesse, Riley, the friend, uh, the Samuel, which plays the boy, but has Roy's face imposed on him. It's, it's uh, really weird. And the uh, police operator and the police officer uh, are the only other people that aren't played by Roy Keener. Uh, this, 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 she's... She's she goes on a walk through the woods and come comes across this naked man uh going full dong like full out just flopping baby and I commend movies that do that because we get a lot of women nudity maybe some men's asses but we don't get men's dicks I full on pat uh them on the back for doing this we get it multiple times so if you're going to see this you're going to see some dick just know that now uh going into this uh it starts playing into that he he may be dangerous he may not be dangerous uh then we get introduced to the vicar which is the priest uh he's a fucking creep and then the the she goes to the pub where Jeffrey is sitting there, the bartender who looks like Jeffrey, but differently. Uh, a couple of a couple of townies, the the cop starts being a dick to her and shit like this for letting him go. Uh, you 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 find out that these are all the same person, but they've never explained what he is or what it what it all means. Um, now this is, this, this movie gets really intense and graphic, uh, like towards the end of the movie, she's the, the, the guy, the crazy guy from the woods that's full dog, he comes back to the house, she ends up stabbing him through the arm, like through here, uh, he, He's going through like a mail slot. So she stabs him through the arm. So the blade's coming out here and you got the hilt here. 
he ends up pulling his arm all the way and cuts himself all the way down the length of his arm through his hand. It is the most brutal thing I've ever seen in cinema. Holy shit, man. I didn't know how to react to it. But because it's all the same person, this this person, this entity. So now when you see the vicar, or the cop, the the kid, they all have these this split down the middle fucking hand, and it's just insane, insane. Um, and then at some point in the movie, at no towards the end of the movie. The the dude comes from the woods and he uh there's a stone in the chapel that has like a uh, uh a god engraved on it. I think it's not I I I don't know the god, so I don't want to say it's fertility or something like that, but it might have something to do with that. Or rebirth. The dude lays on the ground, spreads his legs, and gives birth to himself. And then that person gives birth to himself. Then that person gives birth to himself. And then the last person is her hus- is her dead husband, uh, James, uh, played by uh, played by Papa S. Dufu. I, I'm, <laughs> like I said, I get these names wrong. He's got the fucked up arm. He's got broken ankles because Jeffrey was hit by her car. He's just like, I just wanted you to love me. And she's like, yes. And then the movie's over. And like, it's so weird. Like, I was talking with AJ in the car and I'm like, how can I recommend this movie to somebody? If you are a hardcore cinema person, you are going to love this movie because it is very different. Alex Garland is such an interesting director, uh, which definitely puts me on his radar, definitely puts him on my radar. Uh, and it's, it's so weird. Like, I, I, I don't know. Like I said, I have to do research into it to give my full rating into this. Uh, I want to say I am loving A24's films. Uh, this was also with DNA, A24 Productions and DNA Films. Uh, wow, just this is a such an interesting movie. And but if you are not, if you're just an average moviegoer that just wants to go for a pop over, this is not you. Actually, one guy uh, sitting uh, a little ways in front of me over here. He, he was on his phone halfway through the movie, like, going through social medias. Like, he stopped paying attention to the movie. He was not having it. Which is kind of asshole He should have just left. But, I mean, you pay your ticket money, I guess you're going to stay for the whole movie. You need to know you're fucking bored and don't want to sit there. Uh, so where does this land on our five-star review? Uh, like I said, this is in-progress review. But uh, this is very different. Uh, Alex Garland, Wow. A24, I love these movies. They're doing such good shit. They are doing such good shit. Uh, guys, let me know down below if you went and saw this movie and if this movie was even on your radar. Uh, thank you guys so very much. I will see you in our next movie review. Bye.